Today I'm smoking an Aroma de Cuba. As you can see, the wrapper is really pretty. It's a very silky, chocolatey brown. It's actually a Honduran wrapper, Honduran binder, and a Nicaraguan and Honduran filler. This one's about five and a half inches long, 48 inch Vitola. And so far the flavoring, I'm getting a lot of pepper, a little bit of coffee, a touch of cedar, but not too strong, but definitely, um, predominantly a pepper taste to it. So I'm gonna continue to smoke it and just enjoying a nice, beautiful day outside. And I'll check back in with you, let you know. So I'm finishing up the first third, um, almost into the half. It's actually kind of a fast burning cigar, but it has a good flavor. The draw line is very, very perfect. I mean, it's completely straight. Um, haven't had to touch it up or relight it, of course. And it's a good cigar. You know, the pepper's kind of faded out. I'm getting a lot of strong, kind of cedar flavor with this one. A little bit more of the earthy. Definitely not, not sweet at all, but it, it is a good cigar. It's good for a, a day like this. Uh, not too strong, probably like a medium body flavor and strength as well. So I'm just going to continue to smoke this down and then I'll check back in with you. So entering into almost the last third. Like I said, it's been a pretty fast burning cigar. Fla <clears throat> Sorry, flavor wise, uh, hasn't changed a whole lot. It's um, still getting a lot of cedar, a lot of earth flavor on this. Um, the burn line has been great, excellent draw. It's been very cool, consistent throughout. Getting ready to take off this band actually before it starts burning. But I always love all the beautiful colors that they add on all the aroma of the Cuba stuff. Very pretty. Price point's great on this. It's about five, five to seven bucks a stick, so very reasonable. A good everyday smoke, like I said. So, hopefully you've tried it. Most people have, but if you haven't, definitely pick one up.